The Reason Rack is bigger than ever and offers nearly endless sonic capabilities. But sometimes you just want that sound. The sound of your favorite hardware synth that you bought with your first ever paycheck, or that amazing little drum machine you dug out of the basement. If you want to add these sounds to your Reason Rack, the external MIDI instrument is for you. The external MIDI instrument is exactly that, an instrument. It's not meant for MIDI's advanced specifications like system-exclusive messages. It's meant to let you use your hardware and make music happen. So let's do just that. We'll start by creating an external MIDI instrument. The first thing we need to do is make sure we select a MIDI port. That's where we send the MIDI data. This could be, for example, the MIDI output port of your USB MIDI keyboard or a dedicated interface. Now, we're capable of sending MIDI data out to our MIDI interface, but we still need to connect our hardware instrument to that interface so that all three things can communicate. I'm going to hook up my Dave Smith Instruments MoFo for some analog synth goodness. There. So now that we're sending MIDI information to my synth, there's one thing left to do, and that's making sure we can actually hear my synth too. I've got the MoFo plugged into my audio interface, so we can just create an audio track. And now we can play or sequence our external MIDI instrument. Just remember to turn on monitoring on the audio track so you can always hear it. This sequence is pretty nice, but I want to adjust the filter on my synth a bit. Sure, I could just tweak the synth in real time, but we can also do it in the Reason Rack. On the external MIDI instrument, there's a rotary control called the CC Assign Rotary. We can easily use this to control any CC value, for example the filter cutoff. On most synths, a CC value of 74 is the filter cutoff, something worth remembering. I'm going to turn this on here and assign my rotary to 74. Now the filter cutoff is ready to tweak directly from the Reason Rack. We can also do something more advanced, like using a matrix, and send the curve CV to the assignable CCCV input. This opens up a whole world of modular style tweaking, enabling you to wire up your Reason Rack to your hardware. In fact, you can go really deep and create any number of external MIDI instrument devices, assign them to the same MIDI port, and create a massive web of different CV connections to tweak multiple parameters on your hardware. Or, if that's a bit too geeky for you, we can simply create multiple automation lanes in the sequencer using the track parameter automation and draw in automation for the parameters we want to control. Then, once we're ready to record, just select the audio track and hit record. Our sequence will be recorded as audio and is ready to be played back, cut up, stretched, or even bounced to a rex file. So there you have it, how to use the external MIDI instrument to expand your Reason Rack. And now, if you'll excuse me, I have some music to make.